I feel fucking violent. <laughs> Can I tell you? sister got a BBL asking what the homeless f people freaky questions. Little RT 20 v1. This is actually getting out of hand. Yeah, a few months ago, I dropped a video titled cooked. The Problem with Black YouTube. And in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and what they actually put out you on the Corey. internet. And the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content possible. I All see the public it too. interview and like 20 v1 spamming YouTubers. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback you know some people said that i was spitting in that video a lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue and then some people thought that what i was saying was kind of a, a, a little uncle ruckusy some people were even saying that i wasn't the best spokesperson for this because i speak proper and he's I sound light -skinned. white even though i mean I, i'm pretty oh. sure last time i checked i'm black i don't know y'all tell me i guess i gotta I hate that shit, bro <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i hate that you need to sound black to be black it's, it's kind of stupid i'm not gonna lie black as well i don't know how a black person is supposed to sound but y'all tell me in the comment section below Overall, just want to stay a lot of in feedback with that video and in today's video people, actually, who, wanna... people who say that just want to stay in in the back of history bro that <laughs> i swear to god i swear bro I to return to that topic of black youtube once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie the pop the balloon shit's annoying insane. starting with these 20 v1s now these 20 v1s they were pretty popular like six seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're unfamiliar with the 20 v1 i mean basically it's 20 v1 with lil rt was and insane just date each person each round that's pretty much oh it now like god, i said what the funny that other has to be bbl bro date each oh round. my god look at how thin her legs are bro no way each round that's pretty much it now like i said these 20 v1s are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children yeah, as you guys <gasps> saw in 20 kids oh i didn't know they did that i remember when they did 20 adults versus a little rt which was wild pred but this oh these are crazy the intro yes there was a creator out here who created a 20 v1 with little rt the 10 year old rapper if that is not insane bro we <laughs> black youtube is cooked oh my god i don't know what is i genuinely don't instead of using lil rt as a side character like that one guy did he's now upgraded to a main character and they got this man speed dating children but yeah that's oh, like the parents only allowed their kids to do this with these 20 v ones other than that oh everything god. else is pretty much the same still scamming their fans with the cash app link in the description oh my god no they're not make 750 dollars and we already know how that goes cash app is not giving you 750 dollars for free that just doesn't make sense that's a terrible business move they're still using the exact same intros as one another and they're also still using the exact same profile picture bro they're actually using the same profile pictures bro hold on <laughs> bro that little notch in the mouth and the little notch in the mouth and then the background and then the bro there's no way there's no way as one another like there's literally zero creativity when it mm -mm. comes to these 20v1 tubers now one specific mm -mm. 20v1 that i really want to talk about right now because i th i feel like this is the elephant I always in the said room the 20v1s is this little looked exactly rt the same. 20v1 a few weeks ago i was scrolling on twitter just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus lil rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right i don't know what reddit has to do with this but i just looked at it and i thought it was a troll but then about a week ago i was scrolling it gets through twitter on again reddit, huh? and i seen a clip from this 20v1 and when I tell you, I was shocked. Hey, hey. What's your name? Tayden. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Okay, all right, Nick. Now, this video was made by a YouTuber by the name of Mike Adelaboo, who's pretty much another variant of like No Love Mar, Ryan with the Sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. <laughs> a majority of his content just revolve around 20v1s. Like, if we look at his last 12 videos, you can see that Damn. he did nothing else but 20v1s. And before the 20v1s, this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting his friends the on freaky shit. blind dates. Like, he was basically just doing this cornball content every, pretty much. Every and I guess trend that every <laughs> Every trend of black YouTubers, bro. The pop, he was doing the pop the balloons to find love and the 20 v ones. 20 v ones got super boring, so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix. You may be Insane. thinking like, oh Cam, you might be overreacting, you know? No, maybe he, I don't this think 20 v so. one isn't that bad. No, it's exactly what you think. This is a children's dating show. This yeah. man literally held a children's Risen competition. This is not this... the TikTok Riz party. This is the YouTube Kids Riz party. None of these. Oh, hell. Oh, God. 
Oh, this is so cringy. Kids are over the age of 13 years old. What was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video? Man, 20v1s are getting dead, man. Let's add some children to the mix. <laughs> like, bro, what the heck? What's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends. When we know the true intentions of this, like I said, this is a Trying children's Trying to make him seem show. like he was this a 10-year-old gay kid? He has cornball, got a room full of kids to try and raise up Lil RT. Is that not weird? I want to know what adults allowed their kids to get on this video. That's the same I question I asked, know. bro. Like, this is actually insane. Oh, shit. Oh. Not him saying, oh, shit, you a kid dancing like that. Nah. Oh. That's crazy. Okay, that's kind of like, crazy. Bro, just let these kids be kids. Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That is weird. Especially 20v1s. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community. Y'all need to stop it using and abusing this insane. kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child, bruh. Why do we need videos of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT He's being on a 20v1? One. Nobody needs this content. What's crazy is at the end of the thing, it's Lil Hold RT on. 20v1. This man he needs this con dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT being. He wasn't even on his tape. <laughs> on his tape bro <laughs> on a 20v1 nobody needs this content what's crazy is at the end of this Lil rt 20v1 this man has the audacity to say y'all let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all want to do another one or no talk to me chat let me know man i just held the chat? lit bro this is a youtube video not you calling your youtube audience chat i think so for children man if y'all want another one make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section <laughs> tag little timmy tag your little sister any kids i want them all like dog read the room nobody wants another little Little RT yeah, 20v1 or another children's dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off <gasps> the entire comment section. This man probably that means got, he got so many for this. And yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And if you thought that was one thing about me, bro, I will never turn my comments off because I do get hate comments, but I know like the love is is there too, bro. And it, it usually outweighs the hate. When you turn your comments off, that means you have way more hate than love comments. Bad. Well, let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse because there's actually this 20 v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of finesse two times and it starts off as your average 20 v1 that you'd see on black youtube but then halfway through finesse two times son came in what? with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women and the way that these women and finesse two times talk right in front of this child is actually weird it, it's it's genuinely disgusting so after you not do you stay hard or you get soft they junk get soft I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about five minutes for that Johnny for round two. You might not. Why are you asking this in front of his kid, and why are you why are you explaining the details in front of your kid? I take forty minutes with me. Cap. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. Man, one time. What right? is? On God, it's a bitch from Atlanta, cause she married now. On God, I had a bitch with eating that. Right. Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that bitch, started sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on and f me right, though. Since you said you got out, messed with some skinny girls. Right. So what would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out of my head no more, right, cuz cause, cause one time, right, man, I was hitting a bitch from the front, right, and man, man she just got the square neck with mm -hmm. My head I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face. He's not trying to hear any of that. No child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation, <laughs> especially coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son. Bro, when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Why is this man talking about how he be making women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. If and these women that he's talking about aren't, it isn't even his mom. I know he doesn't want to hear that shit. If one of my parents were speaking- You don't want to hear it in general, but the fact that the, none of these bitches are his, his mom, it's even worse, bro. What the- Freaky deaky, right in front of me like this, the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in GTA, of course. And if you thought that it's disgusting <laughs> hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20 v Nah, I'm, I'm glad he said that, bro, because me, yeah, me and my boys be doing that too, bro. We'll say some sh on, like, while I'm streaming and then be like, in GTA. <laughs>
not yet. What about them actually doing these sexual acts? There's literally a 20v1 with the rapper JP and mid-21. Oh, and then he has sex with her like in the bathroom or some shit. And got that MW3 dome, if you catch my drift. Basically, he was just yapping it up with these girls, and this girl was talking about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000, you know? It goes crazy. Oh, so he got it. Should I gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you better. I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk, right? So they go and to they the, went back, in the bathroom. And this man starts getting gawked off mid 20v1. Number one, this is disgusting. And I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates with her. And number two, the fact that all these grown men are just standing around, and eavesdropping, listening to listening another man to get his meat slurped up. It's completely odd Act. to me. These dudes literally <laughs> look like some cheerleaders, bro. They're Actually outside the door insane. like, oh my gosh, JP. You're really getting your meat slurped off right now. Oh my gosh, Actually this insane. is amazing. And if you thought that, that 20v1 was bad, well, it gets even worse because there was also this other 20v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants' mouths to basically show how freaky she was. Miss Scorpio. And she blamed it on being a Scorpio. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. What's your November? Well, why not? Let her do it. Let her do it. He liked it. And he slurped it. He liked it. He's sick right now, y'all. I feel fucking violent. <laughs> Can I tell you? <laughs> that clip almost... That clip almost made me throw up. I Yo, was, bro. Oh my! I had to stop myself right there. Bro, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I almost. I almost like. I, I felt. I, I that. Mm -mm. Being that clip, it's, I can't it's, even speak how uncomfortable that shit just made me. Oh my god, it's disgusting. These twenty v ones need to stop. Like, when are we gonna wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time. You know, twenty v ones were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, when Jubilee was doing them. Mm -hmm. But do we really gotta continue to make these? You white room warriors need to stop. This content is white bottom of the barrel. Can can we think of something else? Oh wait, we did think of something else. Pop, Pop the, the balloon. balloon. If you're god damn. <laughs> Even worse, like, I don't know what's worse, bro. Pop the balloon or 20v1s. They're just terrible, bro. All of them are terrible. Pop the balloon. Basically, it's like the new 20v1s. And how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand. And each round, a person comes out. And if a person with a balloon likes you, then they don't pop the balloon. But if they don't like you, then they she pop the balloon. She's doing too much. This, this, girl right, this girl right here, she's doing too much, bro. Likes you, then they how you get scared the of the balloon? fucking balloon? If they don't like you, what? then they pop the balloon and they explain doing too much. why they pop it. Now I will say, I did like Pop the Balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there, like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole <laughs> room just pop. sounds like the 4th of July. Alright, so like, um, ladies, how y'all feeling based on- <laughs> Like, nah, I, I can I, I have to agree with him here, bro. I have to agree with him here. Sometimes these pop the balloons just be having uh, some funny ass moments. I can't lie, but like, bro, like that is peak comedy. Or when that one dude who looked like a ninja turtle was just cooking all the women on there. Your name and age, and oh, this, why you ended up popping your balloon. the plumber. Brianna, twenty six. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm I'm looking at the hair on your arms. That was pretty funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now, I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this is getting out of hand, bro. These white Roblox? rooms need to- Roblox? I didn't even know that existed, bro. There's a Roblox pop the balloon. Brain rot. Be put to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white rooms, they gotta start trying charging more they gotta start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money it's because just a normal if I room with a white backdrop brother in a white room i'm actually gonna flip especially these blind dates i seen a dude doing blind dating based off what the f blind dating off baby pink do you understand do you understand how fucking disgusting that is to pick someone to date based on their baby picture as a full-grown adult you have to see which baby looks the hottest hey yo what the f what the f baby pictures is that not weird bro especially coming from these freaky ass channels that's even weirder there are so many creative things you can do on youtube and you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of that is insane what's crazy is this freakiness on black youtube is also transitioning over to twitch and if we know one thing about twitch they could not give a singular f about freakiness on their platform mm -mm. twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the 
end of that stream. Twitch mm -hmm. could not care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshae Frost, a Maybe large black six. comedy be more. Writer, also former actor, was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. No way. Oh my god. She chasing my shit. And what's crazy what the fu is this isn't even this man's first time because he's done it before. Ruby Heat. You who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat. Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's my stage name. Stage. What's your real? I want to know your real name. Wow. I really want to get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlin. Like the right son. Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay, Bryson and Caitlin type. All right, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh, oh. she said, oh. what is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid recording? That like, is can the definitely dome wait. that necessary where you need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, how necessary it, it is it? It definitely the dome? can wait, That's bro. That's all I want to know. <laughs> It, it, look, bro, it can definitely wait, bro. <laughs> You're live, bro. If something goes wrong, she makes a sound or, or, or. That could be the end of your channel, bro. Y'all got to fucking relax with that shit, bro. That sounds, that sounds crazy. Wait, that sounds insane. Now, am I surprised that Deshae Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting a BBL. And That's also the same guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content. And I say acting because the video is obviously fake. <sighs> Come on, Deshae. Bro, this smell hella good though. What? Bro, what? Oh! What the fuck is going on? Bro, that shit's so fake. What is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording, we're doing something, bro. You told me to come, mom, you told me to come over here. 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 Bro, that's my favorite NBA player right there. And if you thought that the freaky dish from- that meme is hilarious. And Derrick Rose don't be smiling. But when nigga actually, like, 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 for real, for real, no glaze, actually has a, a great smile pause from the shade diddy stops right there well the we're just diddy. getting started because this freakiness continues you got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream oh no they fuck bro oh you gotta up over here like this for real you got this man biting on a woman's butt ah, why are you taking so long <laughs> oh wait don't bite me hard nah 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 they okay. gonna clip this who fuck. even no <laughs> You got this man recording a half-naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man oh forcefully God. humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Fumble, fumble. Get it, fumble, it, fumble, fumble, yes, fumble. Yes, what yes, the fuck? Yes, what the yes, fuck? Is that fucking easy? Andre, is that easy? Why is this man so freaky? Deshay Frost, you need to be neutered, bro. <laughs> this man reminds me of one of those bro. dogs that just hump everything. <laughs> Why is this man so horny, bro? This man is the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that Deshay Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions asked. <laughs> All that being said, I find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows, getting dome on stream, and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single video i'm like, not gonna lie whenever i see those cash app things i ignore stop. it what is the point of having little Completely. rt on a dating show who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes and also the sexualization of all this content why does it always have to be freaky or why does it always have to have these like weird twists like i said there's many phenomenal black content creators out there but the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible but that's just my thoughts yeah, let me know what I, you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you make sure to join the discord link in the description make sure to follow my twitch at twitch cameron wik if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video on black youtube it'll be right up here on the screen all that being said thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out yo cameron w video cam black youtube is cooked bro I'm not gonna lie, like, not all of black YouTube, because like he said, bro, there's some content creators that are black that are amazing, RDC, Corey Kenshin, Relizy, uh, Dante, etc. Some of these, bro, golly.